I don't yeah. hear you. Hello, Christoph. I can hear you. Yeah, what's Larry. up, man? Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you, Christoph. Yeah. Nice to meet you too, my friend. Yeah. Uh, I'm from Indonesia, Christoph. Uh, bola supporter, juara .net, juara, juara netes. Kita sekarang ngobrol sama Christoph Jotko, uh, petarung kelas middleweight dari uh, UFC yang akan bertarung melawan uh, Gerald uh, Mersart nanti di akhir pekan nanti. Uh, Christoph, uh, this been a long, long uh, journey for you uh, because uh, we been waiting quite uh, a while now for you to to uh, compete again uh, how do you feel what's up everyone i feel great i have a such an amazing camp this time uh, everything is so on point my condition my skills and everything is good i tried to fight in the beginning of february yeah with alex pereira but alex pereira pull up my fights he take he choose another opponent So I stay with the not fight and I'm waiting for another fight and then UFC find the fight for me in April Terry with the Jared Messerscott and I'm accepted with run away and then I'm here. Yeah. Uh, how do you see Gerald uh, as your opponent? I see him like a human blanket dead dick <laughs> sniffer. I think he wanna take me down. He tried yeah. to take me down. That's yeah, why I was yeah. take care of my jujitsu and I take care of yeah. my wrestling with people like Buchecha or Antonio Carlos Jr. So I don't worry about his his grand game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, he has a uh, 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 incredible record in submission, 26 wins. Uh, what do you need to prefer to to face a, a fighter like this? Um, I do the same what I do always. I have a very good takedown defense and I don't let him take me down. I be try to keep the fight in a stand up and whoop his ass. Mm, yeah, yeah. You said you, you train with uh, Buchecha? Yeah, I train with my camp with uh, Marcus Buchecha, Antonio Carlos Jr., Sine Otlaf, uh, Johnny Eblin, mm. who will be fighting with um, Gerard Musasi in the belt. So... I have a, such a good sparring partners this camp. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, uh, with Buchecha because uh, he's uh, fighting in the One Championship, which uh, very popular in Asia. Uh, what uh, can you learn from uh, Buchecha? Uh, he is a world champion in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, right? He's one of the best Jiu-Jitsu fighters who I know. Mm. And he's a very nice guy. He... Every time we roll or we do something, he give me his advice, and he say I'm I'm pretty good in the jujitsu, and sometimes he can even submit me. So if he say I'm good, I I feel confidence <laughs> and I feel good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the story about uh, your fight, uh, your plan fight against Alex Pereira. Do you think he's afraid of you? Um, I don't know if he's afraid of me, but maybe he was not ready for the wrestling or yeah, that's why he yeah. chose the stand-up guy, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know. Because yeah. this will be different, different fight with me and different fight with, with Bruno, who was the same stand-up guy, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he only wants to, to fight a striker uh, in his early career in UFC. He doesn't want he to fight. fight the strikers and UFC protect him. Because oh, yeah. they want to fight here with the Adesanya, and this is what it is. Yeah, yeah. you think UFC prepare a, a road uh, for him to, to, to go of to Of course, Adesanya? of course. <laughs> UFC prepare him for the Adesanya, and they want to have the big people ever do. That's yeah. what they want. Yeah, but but it's not it's not working for you, because uh, obviously you are a fighter that work your way up to the ranking, not, not like uh, Pereira.
I don't hear you one more time. Yeah, uh, it's not uh, like you because you you face uh, many many fighters, not like Pereira, only a uh, few fights and uh, to go to Adesanya, but you fight a lot of guys in your division. Exactly, I fight a lot of guys, wrestlers, strikers, everyone. And he was after two fights, and he's already in the ranking. Mm. Please. Yeah, yeah. Number uh, five or number something like behind yeah. the stone frequent is a number one bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Christoph, how do you see that competition in the middle with uh, division? Huh? How, how do you said? see the, the competition in the middle with division? Competition right now? Yeah. Uh, how I see the competition? Uh, for now, is a uh, I think at the Sanya and the Canonier mm. is a fight on the belt, and I don't know. I see me soon there. Yeah. You think uh, Adesanya? There, there will be someone who uh, beat Adesanya because we, we can see that he already. You know, another a... Polish, Polish, Polish power, Polish guy beat him. So now it's time for another Polish guy to beat the sign. Uh, how, how do you picture if you you if you were to fight uh, Adesanya? Because we know he he kind of like a striker also, like like uh, Pereira. How do you prepare if you go fight against Adesanya? Probably I will prepare to put him down too, like Jan Bahovic. But let's focus for Gerard this time. We talk next time, and then we make a plan for the Pereira. Now is Gerard in my my yeah. head and just focus on his ass and let's stay with this yeah uh christoph uh among of your all your fights uh which one uh you can say this is the the best performance of christoph Yotko? i think the best performance for me was fight with tyler latest mm. in sao paulo brazil yeah i beat him in a uh, his his position in the ground when he's one of the best on the world yeah. and i was there and my friend is laughing for today because i have a month for him yeah <laughs> so this was this was very nice fight and good luck yeah. i remember this fight forever yeah and uh, which opponent give you uh, the hardest time the toughest fight you you ever uh, um, you know, maybe I think the the weird fights and the hardest, fight, maybe not hardest, but the weirdest fight uh, was Sean Strickland because I was not good shape this time. I have a problem a little bit with my health, with my stomach, and I was vomit and throw up all camp. I can make a weight, and I was like feel feel disgusting for this fight, but I'm still going there. I still show up, and I'm front and nearly I lose in a decision yeah yeah uh christoph you've been uh, fighting for a very long time in the middleweight division in ufc uh, do you see any new fighters that that can be a future contender in the middle fight uh, in the middleweight division um i don't know maybe me i don't looking for the people i looking in the focus of myself <laughs> yeah uh christoph you you are known you have a good a very good endurance you have a very good cardio because you 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 uh, finish your fight uh, a lot of uh, it by the, by decisions do you feel you you ready to to uh, get to the maybe main event uh, five round fights i think if i get the offer fight five rounds rounds i will definitely accept because my cardio is good for the five rounds i can do this wherever i want and I hope so. After this fight, I have some main event fights. Yeah. And uh, changing division, do you consider that? Maybe going. No, up? no, I'm no. staying at UFC to the end of the middleweight division. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Christoph, uh, thank you very much for your time. Good luck. On thank your you fight, so man. much. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you so much and see you next time. Yeah. Bye bye, Christoph. Bye-bye. Uh, Thank you.